My father has a story about that. My father had the largest collection of Yiddish stories in the universe. And he loved to tell them. And he laughed harder than anyone when he told his stories. And this story is about Mr. Goldberg, the tailor. So somebody came to get a suit from Mr. Goldberg, the tailor. And he tries on the suit and he says, Mr. Goldberg, this suit looks very strange. This sleeve doesn't fit at all. And Mr. Goldberg looks very seriously and he says, you're right. For that sleeve, you have to hold your hand like that. Okay. Man says, you know, the other sleeve doesn't fit at all. I, I, look, look at it. Mr. Lo Goldberg looks, he says, you know, you're completely right. For that sleeve, you hold your hand like that and you put this shoulder like this, okay? Well, what about the right leg? The right leg looks very strange. What about it? And Mr. Goldberg says, you're right, you just have to put your foot a little bit inside like that. What about this one? He says, well, that one, you put your foot like this. Well, now the suit was fine, and the man comes out of the tailor's store, and as he's walking in the street, this couple comes by, and a woman says to her husband, what an amazing tailor, a man in this condition, the suit fits him perfectly. <laughs> well, this is us. We are in the suit. We walk around in the suit because we've adapted to our life. And we don't even know that this is a suit, a survival suit. We know that this is us. For example, if I adapted by being withdrawn and cold and really distant, I think this is me. Inside the suit is our human essence, intact. Inside of our survival adaptation, we are our essence. And coming over the bridge allows our spirit to be nourished and this transformation to happen from the survival suit to our true human essence. It is in being with each other that our essence becomes revealed. And so it reminds me of this wonderful saying, I used to be different and now I am the same.